Is your video feed boring? Don't worry, I brought you something to power it up. Hello, so this is Blender 2.9 and we're going to change stuff in real time because why not? You know, if you got the possibility to, to do stuff in real time, why not try it? So, in this case we're going to look for appealing colors to Goku's transformation of his Ultra Instinct, but which he already has, right? So, um, this uh, this effect back here, it's controlled by this, by this null controller, right? So, that way I can art direct this. I've been saying this for five years now. Blender has always been ready for anime production, and I think this is a clear uh, case where you can see the things it can do in action. Right now, this, this model is not rigged, but if it was, it could be clearly animated inside this scene so let's let's review this right now i'm going to press f12 and this is rendering in real time you don't have to wait all that much you can see here the color controls and the scopes if you're going out of range for the gamut you get that kind of control also and as you can see we now have on blender 2.9 uh ev motion blur and you activate it here in the motion blur tab and now you can play with the shutter for for lower or higher speeds and this is going to get you this kind of effects of course it will depend like in any photography it will depend on how your uh, particles energy is going to have to be emitted like if you emit a low energy of course it's going to appear uh, soft but if it emits a higher energy then of course it's going to appear as such so let me go to another frame where we can clearly picture the speed of the particles I'm going to pause this somewhere around here I think this is a good case now I'm going to press F12 I get the render up here which will apply the screen uh, effects of course blender is a screen effect um, render engine among other beautiful things so let's go here now F12 again. If I was to render this animation, it wouldn't even last longer than 8 or 6 minutes. Uh, probably even less. Probably 2 or 3 minutes. Because, as you can see, it renders at 3 seconds a frame. 3 seconds, okay, real time. This is what we're talking about, guys and girls and people, artists of the 3D community. And, yeah, that's that. And <laughs> you can manipulate this. You can scale it, of course. And and you can move this and create whatever kind of effects you want. You can also accelerate the the speed of flowing, the, the direction of flowing. Check this out, R, Y, okay. So I don't know. Maybe Goku is activating his Ultra Instinct power and he's ready to blast any evil guy out of the way. So that's that, and I hope you have enjoyed this really short video. Any any questions about this, um, please make sure that um, you type them down here in the comment box below, in the comment section below, and also, if you could, please subscribe to my channel. You can also get the descriptions where you can learn how to do these uh, anime stylized shaders from zero to hero. So it is very important if you want to uh, dedicate yourself to really learn the craft and please bear in mind that some of the shaders in blender um, are exclusively for ev use so this is this is uh, the entire pipeline built around creating the shader style inside blenders ev real time this is aimed to animate production so that you know what to tweak in order for you to get the stylized look and just as a quick last um, thing that I wanted to mention is that if I click my camera, I have my uh, focus distance with this focus object. So let's say, for example, I want to focus not on his eyes. I would, for some reason, would like to focus on his, his hair. So I can move the focus point there. And of course, if I render out now, you can see here, F12 it's going to render out the 
uh, uppermost part of his hair focus and this way out of focus and this particular model as I showed before has properties custom properties which allow me to determine what kind of energy he's going to be emitting right now he's emitting a tend uh, number of energy if I go to zero then he gets his normal regular you know um, black outline so I'm going to press F12 with this and you can see the difference it is mostly fantastic to get this kind of things this kind of results right in Eevee's real-time viewport thank you very much